Hi, I'm Aubrey Whipley, and this is Jack Chats. We join you today here at Jack Studios with Milo Butler. He is an award-winning independent filmmaker here to tell us about his premiere short, Sundown Town. Milo, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Sundown Town is a film about an interracial gay couple traveling cross-country from California to New York. They have to fight for their lives after a life-changing stop at a gas station where they're confronted with ghostly apparitions and the cruel reveal of racism in America that's still prevalent today. I understand representation is a really important part of your work. What does it mean to you to bring representation to this film? I grew up never really seeing myself on screen and making a film like this really helped me develop my voice as a narrative director. And I feel like it also really empowered me to really shine a spotlight on issues that are really pretty much left in the dark. There are a lot of untold stories out there from victims who found themselves in these situations and don't have a voice anymore. This film not only echoes my own personal encounter with police brutality, but was also inspired by the many untold stories that were never given the opportunity to be heard. So in terms of making sure we're seen, we're heard, and our individual experiences are valued, I believe this film is important for anyone to see, no matter who you are. Sundown Town was very well received. It's screened all across the country, all across the world even. Now it's your turn to brag about yourself. What were some really exciting festivals to be able to screen at? We played at over 100 theaters across the world. We played right here on 42nd Street at the AMC Empire Theater. We've won over 50 international awards so far. We played in, out on film Atlanta, an Academy Award qualifying film festival. We've also played at the Toronto Black Film Festival, Portland Horror, Change Fest, the Coney Island Film Festival, and the 2021 San Diego International Film Festival. My overall hope for this film is that it opens up more spaces for inclusive stories and experiences from the LGBTQ community, as well as communities of color in television and film. Absolutely. Um, well, we're excited to see more work from you and to see your name on the big screen. Definitely one to watch. Keep him on your radar, everyone. And thank you for joining me today, Milo. Thank you for having me. Thank you all for joining us today on Jack Chats. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, at Jack Studios, to see more of our featured artists' work. And we will see you next time.